Hi, this is your uh, Dr. Bitlaven. In this session, we will see the introduction part to the development of surfaces. Uh, then we move forward to see some of the example parts to draw or to develop the surfaces of the solids. Now, let me go to the introduction part of the development of surfaces. But before going to the development of surfaces, uh, in our last sessions, I have discussed the uh, projections of the solids. Uh, we took a number of examples and for all those examples, we have drawn the projections for all the different types of solids. And after that, we are uh, solved the uh, isometric views. We took a number of examples with the different surfaces and all those surfaces. Uh, we have drawn the uh, isometric views from the orthographic but now in this session, we will try to discuss the uh, introduction part to the development of surfaces. Then we will also take some examples and for those examples, we will develop the surfaces. Now let me move forward to see what exactly the development of surface. Now the assume an object uh, if you assume an object and that is a hollow object, then you cut that object and wrap that object, unwrap that object like a sheet, right? So cut in a hollow object, then unwrap that and unfold like a, a sheet completely and lay down that sheet on the horizontal plane. Uh, so that will be called as the Unwrapped or unfolded sheet is called the development of lateral surface of that object or the solid. I repeat that you take one, uh, uh, assume that the uh, object and that is hollow one and you cut that object and unfold that. So that unfolded sheet is called the uh, development of the lateral surface of the, then let me take the pointer First, uh, ballpoint pen, I take the, I take one more example here, then pointer I need, right? Then options. Then let me take an option here, okay. So now let it be, and it is not coming. Now in this case, now our lateral surface is the surface excluding the solids. For example, you take a cylinder and the top lateral surface means the cylindrical surface only excluding the top and bottom. So the surface, lateral surface means is the surface excluding the top and bottom surface. Example, you consider a cylinder. Cylinder consists of the top and bottom. Example, you consider uh, the prism. So prism also consists of the top and base with the same shape which can be triangular, hexagonal, or anything. Then uh, you take the uh, pyramid also. Pyramids and cone is having apex, but on the one side it is having the uh, base. So without considering the base and top, in the case of prisms, if it is pyramids, if it, if it is a pyramid, and should not consider the bottom or the base. So those surfaces are called the lateral surface. Now, what are the applications of the uh, this development of surface? These are there are so many uh, applications, and with the help of the development of surfaces concept, a number of uh, components will be manufactured. So, this development of surfaces concept is used where the conventional machining process is not used. I mean, which is not able to produce the products with the a conventional manufacturing process. As you can see, suppose if you want to manufacture a, a tin with a very small a thin sheet, so in that case we cannot weld it. So this is what the problem. So we have to use this development of surfaces technique to manufacture some products. So then uh, there are vast uh, range of uh, applications. Now you take some examples like the boiler shells, chimney, uh, preservations, shovels, trays, boxes, cot cottons, so feeding hoppers, so uh, large pipe sections can also be produced during the development of surfaces. 
body and parts of the automotive ship, uh, ships, aeroplanes, and many more. Okay, so all these are um, manufactured by using the concept that is development of synthesis. So the objective of this topic is to learn method of development of surface of the different solids, their sections and the frustrums. So let me see what are the actually before going to the uh, actual uh, drawing. Uh, let us try to remember these points. Development is the different drawing than the projections. So we need to remember that the development is not just like the projection, isometric projection, orthographic projections. It is a different concept. So we need to uh, look into that. So then it is a shape showing area. So that it means it is a, I mean, development of surfaces is a 2D drawing that we need to remember. So plain 2D drawing. So, and all the dimensions of it must be true dimensions. So uh, all the dimensions, because we are showing, we are drawing the figure in the 2D plane so that the dimensions that we get from the development of surfaces is the true dimension that we need to note. So then all the uh, edges and all the surfaces are showing in the uh, development of surfaces so that we will not get any dotted lines in this figure. We will not get any dotted lines. That is what we need to recognize. Then let me move further to see what is the, uh, uh, we will see the different surfaces. So now let us see, uh, we will consider some figures without the dimensions and we will see how the shape looks like when we develop the lateral surface. Now first take the cylinder and uh, when we develop the surface of the cylinder, we will get a rectangle. As you can see here, we will get a rectangle. Uh, you consider the height h and the diameter is d. So when we develop the surface of the cylinder, we will get a rectangle that is pi d as you can see here. That is a pi d or a length of pi d and h, we will get a rectangle. So with the height h and length pi d, we will get one rectangle. Then consider a prism, pentagonal prism. So we will get the length of the, in this case also we will get a rectangle of five rectangles with s length and height h. So the overall length of this prisms is number of sides of the prism and to side, Multiply with side will be, will be the length of the uh, developed surface and height is obvious. So with this height we will develop. Then consider a cone. Cone, when we develop the surface, it looks like this. But angle we need to calculate. So this will become the slant length. Then angle will be calculated. Theta is equal to R by L, where R is the radius of the base circle. Then L will be the slant height. So this sector angle will be calculated. So the angle of the sector will be calculated using one formula. Theta is equal to R by L, where R is the base circle radius and L is the straight and slant height. Into 360 will give us the uh, sector angle to develop the cone. Okay. Now this will become theta. Theta is equal to R by L into 360. Remember that to get the sector angle to develop the surface of the core. Then consider the pyramid and we will get the four uh, triangles, similar triangles like this with the side yes and uh, slant length L yeah, like this. Now consider the tetrahedron. So tetrahedron means uh, it is having the four equilateral triangular surfaces. It looks like this. Then uh, you see we will get all the equilateral triangles, four equilateral triangles like this. Then cube is having six sides. Then when we develop, we will get the six sides like this, six squares like this. So this is how uh, the shapes looks like when we develop the lateral surfaces of the different shapes. So before moving to the actual uh, development of 
surfaces. Now let me take few more examples. So these are the solids, but now I'm considering the frustrums. Means frustrum means you are aware that in the previous session I said with you that the solid is sectioned such that these a sectioned plane is parallel to the base or the sectioned surface is parallel to the base whatever the surface that is exposed after the after doing the section with the section plane so that surface is parallel to the base otherwise the section plane the the section plane is parallel to the base so we will get one solid so that solid the remaining solid the leftover solid is called the frustrum now uh, let me take the development of frustrum of bone as you can see the dimensions and this will become the uh, slant length l and this is the and uh, theta in this case also so first develop the surface without considering the uh, section then <coughs> uh, consider the section uh, with that uh, draw a concentric arc similar to that of the previous arc, then join all those lines. So in this case also, the theta will be calculated, the sector angle will be calculated using the same formula that is equal to R by L into 360. Okay, now take the frustum of square pyramid like this, okay. So now draw the, uh, develop the surface for the same thing that we did in, uh, without frustum, without section. Then draw the triangles, similar triangles. So one side by side with the given dimensions that is L and base side. Then, and this will become top side and this will become a base side. So now join all those lines will give us the frustrum of square pyramid. Now let me move further. I consider one problem. A pentagon null prism, uh, 30 mm height, 30 mm uh, pentagonal prism, 30 mm base. So that is not showing here. Okay. Then I take this. So let me hide. So uh, let me hide floating controls now. So it looks like this now 30 mm base side, 50 mm axis. It is standing on HP on its base. So there is a pentagonal prism, a TMM base side, uh, then 50 mm height is standing on HP on its base. So one base is standing on HP, whose one side is perpendicular to vertical plane. One face of the prism is perpendicular to VP. So the pentagonal prism is one base is standing on HP such that one, one rectangular face is perpendicular to VP as you can uh, see in the problem that is mentioned. It is cut by a section plane 45 degrees inclined to HP. Take a section plane and it is cut by a section plane 45 degrees inclined to HP. Okay. So to midpoint of axis, to the midpoint of the axis, so this section plane is cutting at an angle of 45 degrees and it is passing from the midpoint of the axis of the pentagonal prism. So this is what the condition. So draw the front view, sectional top view and sectional side view. Also draw the true shape of the section and development of surface of the remaining solid. This is what the problem. So draw the front view, sectional top view, sectional side view. Uh, also draw the true shape of section and also draw the development of surface of the remaining solid. So as it is mentioned in this problem, the it is placed, one of the base is lying on HP so that we need to draw the top view first such that one face should be perpendicular to the VP. So, so this should be vertical, then take the compass and and this angle should be uh, 198, this angle should be, this angle should be 198, this angle should be 198, and draw a line, then intersect, and draw this line for the same side, take the compass and get the intersection point. 
after constructing the pentagon such that one edge is perpendicular to the we then project all those points or name all those points as a b c d e then locate the center point then project all those points above the x y to get the front view now uh, with the height and project point a and c d uh, to get or to draw the front view then take the height so that is 50 mm then complete the rectangle then we uh, we can also see one a uh, thick edge here that is b and e which will coincide and this will become center of this pentagonal prism now draw a line draw or indicate a section plane indicate the section plane which is passing from the midpoint of this pentagonal prism which is an angle of 45 degrees so this section plane is making an angle 45 degrees with hp as you can see here and this section plane is passing from the midpoint like this now name all those points and a and b and e then this will become c dash d dash so a dash and b dash e dash and c dash d dash so this section plane is making section cutting the solid at a dash then b dash e dash then c dash d dash now to draw the front view in this conditions so in this problem it is also given that for the midpoint of the draw the front view side so now let us draw a 45 degrees line here then draw the projectors from the top and draw the perpendicular to these projectors then project all these points from the front view and we will get the intersection to get the sectional side view. to get the sectional side view so draw the inclined line at an angle of 45 degrees to x y line then project all those points to this inclined line then draw the perpendiculars to the projectors from the top view so we will get then draw the projectors from the front view and we will get the intersection so e and e point we will get here e we will get here then um, cd we will get here so as you can see here and d and we will get e double dash then as you can see here so e we will get here and uh, uh, then you take a here a a and a double dash you can see then b and b dash will intersect here this will become b double dash then you can see the c okay c here and from here we will get one more intersection point and finally get the point for d double dash join all those points will give us the sectional side view of the prism with the given conditions pentagonal prism with the given conditions now uh, complete the figure total figure and this is exactly the sectional side view of the pentagonal prism with the given conditions now to draw the true shape of the sectioned surface uh, draw an xy line draw an xy line or x1 y1 parallel to this x this section plane this section plane draw a line which is parallel to section plane and name that uh, as the x1 y1 name that as x1 y1 okay. now now uh, on this x1 y1 on this x1 y1 this x1 y1 is parallel to parallel to this section plane okay so draw the projectors on it from the cut points now draw the projectors from this so now we have x y line here and we have all the points okay. so measure all those points from the compass measure all those points from the compass then project all those here like this okay so then get the point and from here and get this distance and from here get this distance and from here uh, and all look at all these points like this okay so get the e point and this will become a this will become e 
okay and similarly and this will become b and from here by using the compass get the distance and similarly locate d and c like this then join all those points name those points as capital a to capital e like this so this will be the true shape of the pentagonal prism when it is sectioned by a plane which is uh, perpendicular to vb and that section plane is passing through the mid of the axis and that section plane is also making an angle 45 degrees with hp this is the condition so with these conditions we have drawn the sectional side view in true shape right? then we need to draw the development of something then we need to develop the surface for the section solid so to draw that first we need to uh, draw the uh, uh, number of uh, rectangles with a given side length and height so draw the rectangles because it is a pentagonal prism we will get five rectangles one two three four five with a given side length and height side by side and after drawing the rectangles so then take the distance okay so from a so a to here we will get then b here we will get then c and d we will get here then similarly e we will get here then a we will get here okay so easily we can get here okay so join all those points so will gives us the development of surfaces okay so as you can see here uh, just from this point you can take a okay and finally you will get a here then b dash e dash then b dash e dash get these distances from the top from the top get the distances and locate the points so exactly from the top so from this point to a dash from this point to b dash e dash b dash e dash and similarly from this point to uh, c dash d dash c dash d dash then join all those points to get the uh, surface developed surface of the pentagonal prism with the given conditions now also draw the lines like this now let me take one more example a cone 50 mm base diameter a cone of 50 mm base diameter and 70 mm axis is standing on its base on hp base on its hp it is cut by a section plane 45 degrees inclined to hp so the base end of the end generator so now the section plane is passing to the base end of the end generator okay so now for that we need to draw the projections sectional views so draw the projections and sectional views as well as the true shape of the section finally we need to develop the surface of the remaining solid to this first we have to draw the top view of the cone because it is lying on the horizontal plane so that we need to draw the uh, top view first so draw a circle with a given diameter then divide this circle into convenient equal of equal number of divisions so from a to h like this from a to h like this then project all those uh, points to get the uh, front view to get the front view then by taking the compass and get the height and locate the apex point chain up and join all those points and this will become a dash and this will become b dash h dash these are the generators then f dash d dash then finally we will get c dash d dash okay so after indicating the generators after indicating the generators then to draw the uh, take the sectional line and uh, okay so take the section section plane this section plane or draw the section plane this is at an angle of 45 degrees but it must pass from the uh, one end of the generator this is the end of the generator and uh, this section plane is making an angle 45 degrees but and it is passing from the end of the generator okay so with these conditions we need to draw the sectional side view and as well as the true shape finally we need to develop the surface this is what the problem so to draw the sectional front view sectional front view after doing section so then project 
all those points, project all those points. Okay. So now project all, the, all those points, as you can see here, all those are projecting here, all those are projecting here to get the shapes. Okay. So now uh, exactly I'm projecting. So I'm naming, I'm projecting these points on the uh, section plane. So here we will get F dash D dash and here we will get C dash D dash and here we will get H dash D dash and A. So and get all those points, draw the lines and indicate all those points like this. And then similarly uh, project all those points on the top also, then get the shape like this. Get the shape like this. Okay. So then to draw the development of the, of the true shape, draw an x1, y1 line parallel to x1, parallel to x1, draw x1, x1, y1. Then get the compass, get the compass. Then get this distance, okay. So a dash, a distance here. Then h dash, b dash here. So then c dash, d dash, f dash, d dash and up to here. So after locating all these points, then join all, all those points as a smooth curve to get the true shape of the section surface. So then to develop the surface, then to develop the surface, uh, then draw a sector by calculating the angle uh, and uh, after that, after calculating the angle and from the apex, from the apex, calculate the angle, uh, theta is equal to L by R into 360, then indicate all the points here, then from here, so then from here, otherwise from the apex. So from O dash, A dash, O dash, uh, here up to here. So uh, this location, so get the point and from here to here and from here to here. So locate all those points, then join all those points to get the development of the cone in these conditions. So now let me take one more problem. A cone 40 mm diameter and 50 mm axis is resting on uh, one generator on HP. That means HP is lying on uh, one generator is lying on HP, which is parallel to VP. Okay. Draw its projections. It is cut by a horizontal section plane through its base center. Okay, so the section plane is horizontal, okay. and it is uh, passing through the base center. Okay. Then draw the sectional top view development of the surface of the remaining parts of the cone, remaining part of the cone. I read the problem once again. Cone 40 mm diameter and 50 mm axis is resting on one generator on HP. That means the cone is lying on HP such that the generator is lying on horizontal plate, which is parallel to VP. The generator is parallel to VP, but it is lying on HP. Now draw the projections and it is cut by a horizontal section plane. So this conditions when the generator is lying on HP in this condition. So this cone is cut by a horizontal section plane. So it's a base center. That means the section plane is passing from the base center. In those conditions, we need to draw the section of top view. Then we need to develop the surface to draw. To draw the projections first. Okay, so assuming that first draw the XY line, then draw the top view first because uh, the base is lying on the horizontal plane. So top view will be the true shape. Then indicate all those points as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Then project all those points to above the XY line and get the height, that height is 50, and locate the apex point, then draw the generators. So one generator which is in front of this cone is P, and backside we have one more generator that is H. And similarly, uh, back to this cone we have generator F, then similarly we have D. So with this, this will be the top view and this will be the front view of the cone when the base is lying on HP. Okay. 
So now this will become O dash. Now uh, take the compass and this will become E dash and locate O dash. So locate e, e dash first, then take the compass, then get O1 dash. And similarly, take the compass, E dash as center, draw an arc, and O dash as center, O dash as center, then uh, A dash, O dash as radius, with O dash as center, we intersect the previous arc to get A, A dash. Then take the compass and look at all these H dash, B dash, H dash, B dash, and C dash, D dash, then F dash, D dash. Uh, these are the generators which are on the surface of the cone. So when one of the generator is lying on H. Now take the section plane which is given in the problem. The section plane is parallel to HP. So this cone is cut by a section plane such that the section plane is parallel to HP. Okay, such that and as well as the section plane is passing from the base center. That means the section plane is passing from this point, from this point, and that section plane is parallel to H, okay, XY line, parallel to XY line, but that section plane must pass from base center here, okay. So now, after drawing the front view of the cone, when it is lying, when one of the generators is lying on H, then draw the section plane. Of course, he is, before that, he is drawing the uh, top view of this cone when it is lying on HP. Okay. Then project these points down and draw the horizontal uh, generators from the top view of the cone when exactly it is lying on HP. Then constructing. So then take the or uh, specify the section plane as I said just now that must pass from the base center like this. Okay. Then project the points. So project the point from A and project the downwards. We will get one point here. And project here, we will get one more point here. And project the generators. So here we have the B and H, okay. But here we have the B and H, of course. Front we have B and H. So from here, so from here we have B and H. Okay? So then come down. So we will get B1, okay? Then similarly, we will get H. We will get one point here and one point here. One point here and one point here. And similarly, we will get uh, draw downwards. So C dash and G dash. Okay, now you see here C dash and G dash. So C, C we are coming here. Then we are getting one more line here. We will get C1. Similarly, project the G dash downwards and we have a horizontal point, we will get G1. Then get D dash, F dash also. Okay, then join all those points because to get the top view of the section surface. Then to draw the true shape, then to draw the true shape, but in this case he is not asking the true shape, but he is asking to draw the dollar. We need to develop the surface. Okay, so uh, just locate locate the points and with theta calculate the theta first uh, before making the section. So draw the full portion of the. Uh, Cone. Then after, so from the apex point O, from the apex point O, and locate all these points. So O here, and O here, O here, and locate all those points first. Okay. So then join all those points. Then join all those points. So which gives us the development of surface, and this will be the development. Okay. So after getting all those points after getting all those points okay so 
so ye you will get here from over dash ye you will get here so ye we will get here from b we will get here so this is how o b we will get here then o g b like this so for always from the o we need to project these points okay c and g exactly we will get here itself c and g so from o dash point so get the distances okay get the distances so then locate all those distances on this full enveloping or the full development of the cone so okay now let me take one more problem a hexagonal prism 30 mm base side and 55 mm axis is lying on h then uh the rectangular face lying on hp such that the one of the rectangular face is lying on hp and it is parallel to bp okay a hexagonal prism 30 mm base side and 55 mm axis is lying on hp on its rectangular face on its rectangular face with axis parallel to bp with axis parallel to bp so now the axis is parallel to bp but it is lying the one of the rectangular face is lying at hp but the axis is parallel to bp so it is cut by a section plane normal to bp it is cut by a section plane normal to hp so normal to hp and 30 degrees inclined to bp so bisecting the axis so now we'll draw the x y line first then construct the hexagonal hexagon here this will be the top view because it is lying on hp so that we need to draw the top view first because the true shape will be the top view then a b c d e f name all those points then project all those points to the top and get the height then indicate all those points uh, on the top we have a dash b dash then c dash f dash then d dash e dash then finally uh, twist this hexagonal prism such that one rectangle is lying on h so one rectangle is lying on h so now with this height with this height so project the height draw the axis then name all those point a dash b dash so this is exactly perpendicular but now this will be exactly horizontal that is only the difference so then after drawing after drawing the front view when one of the base is lying on hp then name all those points so project these points downwards to get the top view when one head, one one face is lying on hp then draw the projectors also here we will find the edges when we see from the top then name the points name the points then draw a, a section line because it is cut by a section plane normal to hp okay section cut by a section plane normal to hp and 30 degrees inclined to hp okay but this is normal to hp but it is inclined to uh, 30 degrees inclined to vp bisecting the axis so now this axis is at an angle this section plane is at an angle of 30 degrees and it is passing from the midpoint or the bisection this is bisecting the hexagonal prism so exactly it must pass from the midpoint of this axis or midpoint of this length length of the prism so now project all those points so this will be the section plane and this section plane is 30 degrees inclined to be so now name all those points here then then get the points here so name some points here name some points here so then then project all these points upwards okay project all these points upwards then locate these points on the front locate these points on the front so first so name these points first so where the section plane is cutting then project all these points to the uh, a top view of the uh, first case first drawing top view of the first drawing then project these points to the front view so just like this 
So from here to here, from here to front view, then from the front view to the front view of a second person. So after locating all these points here, after locating all those points, so then join all those points. So then join all those points to get the sectional front view of the pentagonal, sorry, hexagonal prism. So now to draw the now to draw the true shape, true shape, draw an, a line, draw a line, x1, y1, which is parallel to section plane. Now get the compass, get the compass and locate all those points on it. Locate all those points from x1, y1, locate all the points. So like this, locate, this is your x, y and locate all these points. So from here, so this point, so one and two here. So one and two, so one and two, right? So then, then you take one and two, then eight is exactly lying on this itself, on the x, y itself. Even the seven is lying on the x, y itself. Then get the sixth point, then get the sixth point. So take the compass, uh, in that compass, get this height and locate the sixth point. And take the compass, get this one and get this point. Okay, one point. And take the compass and get this distance, this height, then locate point two. Then take the compass and similarly locate three point and four point. So at how much distance these points are there from x, y line. Similarly, locate the same heights, so from x1, y1. Then join all those points like this to get the true shape of the section. Now to draw the development of surface. So first we have to uh, draw the rectangle. So how many we have? It is a hexagonal prism of side uh, 30 mm and height is uh, 55 mm. So with those dimensions, so draw the six rectangles like this. Then from the heights, so now you draw all those, okay? So see exactly, uh, we will get here itself, right? Then from the D, okay? So then from the D you can, uh, and this is exactly here itself, then we will get two points, three and eight, D and B like this then get four and seven, B and D. So now you can see, so B and D, okay? B and D here, exactly, B and D. Okay. So then look at E, A points, so E and A points like this, okay? So get these heights otherwise. So take the compass, take the compass, get these heights. So E and E. So now you can see here, E and E. So transfer this, a1, E1 and 3, 8. Transfer B1, D1 and 4, 7 like this. So B1, D1. So now B1, uh, B and D here. So now you can see this height is transferred here and transferred here. Then join all those points to get the development of the hexagon when uh, the section plane is making an angle 45 degrees with VP and this uh, this hexagonal prism, one of the hexagonal prism surface, face is lying on HP. This is what the condition given in the problem. Now, oh, let me go back and this is the problem for the cone we have seen, for the cone when one of the generator is lying on HP and a section plane is parallel to uh, HP and it is perpendicular to VP. In that case, we have drawn all the uh, views and similarly, so we have drawn the views, true shape, sectional side view, sectional top view. For the, uh, for the cone, when a section plane is exactly passing from the mid of the height and it is also passing from the one end of the generator, end of the generator, this we have seen, then we have also seen the pentagonal prism, 
which is lying on which is lying on uh, hp one of the base is lying on hp such that one face is perpendicular to bp to that also we have developed the uh, surface then we have discussed a problem uh, for the frustrum we have seen frustrum some shapes of course without the dimensions we have seen then development of lateral surface of the different solids we have seen like the cylinder cone pyramids prisms how it looks like without the dimensions we have seen now we have also seen the introduction part what is lateral surface what is the meaning of the development of surface then what are the applications of the surface we have seen okay so all these we have seen and uh, thank you uh, in the next session we will see the some more problems thank you